first rule of Channel Fight Club is that Channel Fight Club is at home. Donald Trump don't trust China. China is asshole. It's China. That's right, friends. It's your man, Z, and I am here to talk to you about a good one. I think it's kind of funny. It's a uh, <laughs> Fight Club. You remember the ending of Fight Club? I don't know if you do, but spoilers for Fight Club. If you remember the the ending of Fight Club, it was uh, it was one of those things where you were just like, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. The end of all of uh, humanity. We're going to take it back to the uh, Stone Age. So essentially what happens is that uh, the narrator, uh, who is, um, well, there's Tyler Durden, who's played by Brad Pitt, and there's the narrator, who is played by Edward Norton. And the narrator, deci- at the very end, deci- figures out that Tyler Durden is a uh, figment of his imagination or a projection, right? Or a split personality, you never know for sure. But what he does know is that he is going to, his entire Project Mayhem has been designed in order to set mankind back to the Stone Age by destroying the entire credit system and blowing up all of credit. And so he blows up like, his bomb set up in all of the major uh, credit card companies and he's just destroying all of credit. So... (laughs) <laughs> what China did, though, and you gotta remember, this movie was made by David Fincher many, many years ago. One of my favorite movies. You gotta love it. You're in one of two camps of Fight Club. You're either uh, one of those who thinks it's one of the greatest movies ever made, or you're in the the uh, club that says uh, this is for infantile children, man children who think that they're cool. So you got one of two clubs, but Fight Club is still Fight Club. And it's definitely influential, has had a huge in- in- impact on the world or, you know, cultural things. So I just thought it was funny that when it goes to China, because it just recently posted on Tencent, it got a new ending. And the new ending is great because, you know, <laughs> the new ending is China. Uh, so <laughs> at the very end, instead of showing... um. The narrator still kills off Tyler Durden, but the building exploding where he's holding, um, uh, I forget what what the actress's name is, hand, but his girlfriend in the movie, he's holding her hand as they watch all the buildings explode, and it's been replaced with a black screen and a coda. (laughs) So instead of playing that song by the Pixies, you know, Where's My Mind, it just cuts to a black screen, and the black screen says... Though the clue provided by Tyler, the police rapidly figured out that the whole plan, or the the police rapidly figured out the whole plan and arrested all criminals, successfully preventing the bomb from exploding. After the trial, Tyler was sent to a lunatic asylum, receiving psychological treatment. He was discharged from the hospital in 2012. Everyone was happy. Everyone served cakes. There was no problems whatsoever. Everything was great. Yeah, uh, about your pamphlet, uh... I'm I'm not seeing anything about German history between 1939 and 1945. There's just a big gap. Everyone was on vacation. On your left is... That's right. Everyone was on vacation. Everything was perfect. Don't worry about it. Move on. Nothing to see here, friends. Nothing to see. Now, what's funny is if you've actually read the book or um, we can even go to the author himself as he explains that he was... (laughs) <laughs> he actually praises the Chinese ending because it proves exactly what he wants. He, you know, authoritarianism is what should win, right? Uh, they describe the conclusion and how it, you know, differentiated. So what he's saying is that um, he's overseeing the destruction of consumerism as he watches these these skyscrapers explode. But uh, the the author of the book, uh, Chuck Polich, Polnick, I'm not exactly sure how to say his name, but we'll go with Polnick for now. Uh, he goes, this is super wonderful. Everyone gets a happy ending in China. He thinks it's a great. Um, when he consolidates some of his thoughts, he goes, it's amazing. I had no idea. Justice always wins. Nothing ever exploded. Although he does think that they also probably emitted the flash of peen at the end, and they pixelated the uh, dildo in Marla. That's the girlfriend's name, Room. 
Crime does not pay. Uh, what's what's funny is he's oh he says that his book and has been it, it it's been pulled from different it's been banned and and you know all sorts of his many of his books his books are very um, graphic and very interesting. I've read a couple of them and they're very huh, you know they're pretty good. I mean it's interesting if you compare Fight Club the book to the movie. In my personal opinion, it's one of the few um, movies that seems more like it had a a more fixed point than the book. Kind of like Dexter. The Dexter novel is not as good as the show. The book is okay, but the show seems to be better thought out. Um Palinyuk, there's like you have to ha- you have to like get what he's going for, and I'm not gonna say that his thoughts are always extremely focused. Where I think the movie kind of consolidated what he was trying to say and, and focused it in a different way than what he was saying, but still, uh, you know, I think the cultural relevance of the movie it far outshines the book in comparison to like something like Lord of the Rings, where the everybody's like the you know book is more important. So anyway. I just thought this was really funny. This is great. You got to love it when China does these things. And, he, and you know, Palinuk is right, too, because he's... Look, the book's been banned in a whole bunch of different places. And the book does have, in fact, uh, a much more positive ending than the movie. The movie is very bleak. The movie reminds me of, you know... Uh, it, it has this kind of theme of inevitability, like everything that's happening happening and the momentum of what's happening cannot be stopped it is inevitable and will happen regardless whereas i feel like the author or at least the characters in the the novelization like the novel came first too you got to remember that it's not like a novelization of a movie um but the book was like no this is a man who needs help and will eventually get help and maybe things could be better for him where it does not seem like that at the end of the movie. So I think that's interesting, and he thinks it's hilarious. It's also ironic that, you know, that the police would foil the anarchist conspiracy, and it (laughs) the Chinese actually make it closer to the ending of his actual novel versus uh, the David Fincher version, which has been exalted for so long. Hilarious. It's a win, regardless (laughs) <laughs> I just get it's just so awesome that the movie just ends in <laughs> this where the you know, and, you know people are upset about it but look the fa- people understand what they're seeing especially in China they understand that no crime can go unpunished it's a cult it's of cultural relevance that it goes this way and guess what it matches with the plot of the mo- of the book you know just because it's different from the movie that you saw doesn't mean it doesn't match the book Either way, it's hilarious. And either way, Chinese says so. So <laughs> I just think it's funny. So um, good on you, China. You got us again. You snookered us. And the relevance to this, if I didn't say it before, is it, it started streaming on Tencent. So people were starting to pick up on it. And even the authors, you know, has a good sense of humor about it where it's like, look, it's been banned from several of... Uh, like United States, it can't be in the prison systems. It can't be, you know, it, it's too revolutionary, you know, and I think people miss the the endpoint of it either way. But hey, give it a positive ending. <laughs> this just, just imagine you've seen Fight Club and instead of seeing the ending that you're used to seeing and that iconic end scene and hearing that fantastic song by the Pixies, you're just going to get a black screen that just says, everything's all right. We win. A-OK. All good. All right. All right. So anyway, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe because uh, we enjoy talking to you. Tell me, did you enjoy Fight Club? Did you read the book? Which one are you a fan of? Do you like the ending? Which ending would you prefer? Ooh, that's a good one. Do you prefer the Chinese ending? Do you prefer the the David Fincher movie ending. Uh, do you prefer the ending with the, with the, with the book itself? Or do you prefer the ending where meatloaf is still alive? RIP meatloaf. What a great actor. <laughs> He's got to love the tits. 
Uh, anyway, uh, catch our full-length audio podcast free anywhere you want. Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places. And be sure to catch it also on uh, our full... We also live stream it where you can interact and party with us. You can catch that on uh, Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as for me, that is all I have today. Um, but for you... I'm going to be on to the next one, but I'm looking for something fun for you to play. I I just got to give it to you one more time because I love it so much. Let's get to the right spot. Before we go on to the next one, it's... Oh, I got to turn on. My is asshole. That's right. But we're on to the next one. Ah.